Donald Trump, currently leading the United States after reassuming the presidency in 2025, continues to reinforce his protectionist stance, particularly regarding the American automotive industry. Throughout his campaign and now during his administration, Trump has been adamant. American cars must be manufactured on American soil and primarily sold within the domestic market to preserve jobs and strengthen the national economy. Since taking office, Trump has implemented strict policies to ensure that U.S.-based automakers do not relocate their operations to other countries. He considers this practice, prevalent in past decades, to have weakened the American industry, leaving it vulnerable to foreign competition and harming local workers. For Trump, the United States can no longer tolerate American cars being manufactured in countries like Mexico or China to be sold both domestically and abroad. He believes this dynamic undermines American workers and puts the U.S. at a disadvantage on the global stage die in recent speeches. The president has made it clear that his administration will no longer tolerate practices prioritizing corporate profits at the expense of American jobs. He has also announced plans to review trade and tariff agreements that, in his view, allow other countries to profit from U.S. technology and innovation without offering fair reciprocity. In one of his statements, Trump asserted that cars bearing the American flag should not be produced outside the country, as this goes against the interests of the American workers he vowed to protect. The Trump administration has already begun pressuring automakers to repatriate their operations, with threats of higher tariffs on cars manufactured abroad and measures favoring companies that choose to produce on American soil. Trump argues that a truly American car must be designed, manufactured, and sold in the United States. His rhetoric appeals to national pride, a strategy that has mobilized a significant portion of his voter base. Critics, however, argue that this approach could harm key trade relationships and lead to increased production costs, which would inevitably be passed on to consumers. They also contend that globalization is an unavoidable reality and that restricting production to a single country could limit the reach and competitiveness of American companies in the international market. Despite the criticism, Trump appears determined to advance his vision of an economically self-reliant America with an automotive sector that does not depend on external manufacturing. His administration is working on a comprehensive plan to ensure that more cars are made in the U.S., safeguarding both jobs and the nation's reputation as a global industrial leader. For Trump, allowing American cars to be produced abroad is not just a strategic error. It is an affront to American workers and the spirit of his presidency, which seeks to put America first. What do you think? Drop your comments below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of automobiles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.